All right, so this is semen retention day 16 how to be happy now this information of course I've gotten probably from other people including Jim Rohn which is a motivational speaker and uh, the late Jim Rohn I should say a uh, motivational speaker and of course you know he did uh, supposedly you know he did well in his life and well, based off of what I hear off of him, you know, it sounds like he knows what he's talking about. So, I mean, nothing is simple, really. But in a in a way, it is simple, but it's not. In a way, it isn't. So, all right. So Jim Rome says, uh, or Jim Rome, maybe other motivational speakers, you know. When people are feeling down or whatever, you know, it's good to have something to look forward to. And I'm not talking about like, oh, you know, I'm going to go get something to eat at McDonald's or whatever. Unless that makes you happy. But, you know, I I believe it has to be a little bit more challenging, but still something that you can do, you know. Like, yeah, driving to McDonald's to get a burger, it's a little challenging. You gotta get in the car. You gotta have the money or whatever. But for most people, that's, you know, on the easier side. So it has to be, like, something a little bit more challenging. Like, maybe, I don't know, uh, <laughs> like a goal or a dream. And then he says, you know, we all have to have goals and dreams. I don't know if everybody does. I kind of do. Um, I'm kind of stuck, you know, like, it feels like I'm in, like, purgatory as far as my goals and dreams, but I am working on them. I just haven't seen, <laughs> I just haven't seen, like, you know, a big step in a while. Like, yes, I bought my house, like, uh, almost two years ago. That was a huge step for me. Um, And I'm not saying I'm going to be able to pay it every month for till I pay it off, but getting it like that was a huge step or whatever. And uh, so I haven't had, you know, such a huge step in a while. I've had a bunch of like little steps working towards my dreams and goals, but um, no big steps later. And I haven't seen a lot of the fruit of my labor so it makes it you know it makes me kind of be like ah is this working am i you know wasting my time or am i actually doing something Uh, you know all those thoughts because i'm kind of like i said i feel like i'm in purgatory not a lot i don't see a lot of uh you know fruit in my garden like I work hard on the garden and, uh, you know, I have seen, I have seen quite a bit, but, you know, uh, uh, it's not, and I know stuff takes time, but I've been working on stuff, like, for a long time, and it's like, yes, I do see some fruit, but I want, like, more, and so sometimes, you know, like I'm, I'm feeling a little bit down and you know like I'm like well what do I have to look forward to as far as my dreams and goals you know like everyday life yeah it's okay uh, I could go to McDonald's if I want right now like it's not a, not the biggest deal which I'm grateful for you know but it doesn't I don't know I just I don't register it as, as a big accomplishment even though I guess it is <laughs> maybe maybe that's my problem I'm not looking at all the little things that are good in my life or whatever and uh, yeah so sometimes when I'm down I try to think of like okay what do I want to do like what goals do I want to work on what do I want to accomplish you know how's my 
goals and dreams that I already have, how are they progressing or whatever. Yeah, so that's it. If you want to shut off the, shut off the video now, or if uh, I'm probably just going to talk about my goals and dreams a little bit. So, might be boring for some, might be interesting for others. So, I have a garden. I got about 20 trees and over like 300 plants. Now, most of those plants are like cactuses and they're like, and they're like really small because cactuses take some cactuses take a long time to grow so it could be years till you know they like give me like ha a lot of happiness you know but I'm working on them or they might not or whatever but I have like 20 trees I would say I I've gotten fruit from and I planted these when I first got my house so almost two years ago, they, they've been in the, most of them have been in the ground. And I've gotten fruit from, let me see. I had a pomegranate the other day, but it was green. So I'm not gonna count that. I did have one persimmon the other day. I had, let me see. I've had like over 10 figs this year. And all my trees are kind of small, so... Uh, I've had a couple apples. Uh, let's see what else. I've had some plums. A couple little baby plums. Uh, what else? Which other tree? I've had some mesquite pods. Uh, am I forgetting a tree? And I think that's about it, but was it worth all the work? Like where I live, the house I bought, it's a small little house, two bedroom, one bath. Uh, but I'm paying like $1,700 a month. So is those little fruits worth it? Of course I have a place to stay or whatever, So, but it's a combination, you know? Because I could live with my parents or whatever. So, I don't have to be paying the 1700 a month. But I do it because I, I, I like plants. So, you know, I'm working on the plants. See if they pay off. This year I've gotten some produce. I've also grown, like, veggies and all that stuff. Uh, but not enough to say, like, wow, you know, like... I mean... <laughs> I'm grateful. I'm grateful for all the little fruits I've gotten and the veggies. But it's nothing that I can say like, oh, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm like super rich or anything like that. But I don't know. Maybe next year. I mean, next year is going to come or whatever. Uh, I'm not trying to rush it. I'm definitely not trying to rush it, but... Maybe next year I'll get more fruit off the trees and maybe some of the other trees will hopefully start giving fruit so that uh, I feel better about, you know, my investment in a house or whatever. And like I'm, I'm single, so it's not like I need like a house to myself, but my son does stay over on the weekend, so that's pretty good. You know, we have a place to hang out. To, you know be kind of free from from the world or whatever but anyways this video is running kind of long and uh, yeah I guess that's all thank you